If you want to know how to design an illustration like this, then this video is for you. The concept for this illustration is to have a woman that holds a bowl and just crushes some spices. So with that in mind, we're gonna start with sketching. To get started, I usually recommend just blocking in the initial shapes. In this case, we'll have the head, a large part of the body, and the bow somewhere in the middle of the body. So you can then round off the corners and start adding details for the character. This will only be the first pass, so don't go too much into details. As for the next steps, you should erase or lower the opacity and try to actually define the character and how it looks like with bigger brush strokes. I tend to do this a couple of times as it makes it easier to get a cleaner looking sketch line and allows me to adjust and correct anything that doesn't look right. When I first started, I would have needed <laughs> a lot of versions until I got something close to what I wanted. So don't worry if your sketch doesn't look right, just erase and try to draw on top of it as many times as it takes. Now it's time to get things going inside the Illustrator. The first step is to actually get the sketch. So I just send it over. It's pretty straightforward from an actual iPad to send it over. But, but if you did this on a piece of paper, then you can actually just take a photo and send it to your computer. So the first step is to actually lock up the layer with 30% opacity and just send the new layer backwards. I'm going to start with the face because that's the most fun part. Now the sketch is there if you want to use it as a reference. But sometimes I just go about and do something else than what the sketch looks like so I'm going to start with that the ear is a pretty big part so I'm going to start with the skin parts and then we would have the neck area which is actually a pretty big shape well, let's start from over here and this would be open as well if you want you can already send it backwards I'm using command left bracket now with the face details the way I'm going to do it this would be a stroke but the way I want to do it is through creating the shape. So actually I'm just trying to follow along with the shape and kind of simulate a paintbrush. So I'm going to create these curved elements using the pen tool. It's actually going to look like a bunch of strokes just one next to each other. Do the same for the one on the other side as well. And the nice part when you're following along with a sketch is that <laughs> all of these pixels, it's actually up to you how, how you want to interpret them. Because if you want, you can just make it very similar to the sketch, but this also gives you the opportunity to build something a bit more unique. For the eyes, usually I just do a stroked outline, but I'm going to go with the same style that I did the uh, eyebrows. So just try to actually trace this and make it look like a brush stroke. I didn't really know how to make the nose. So instead of that, I just created these shapes, which are a bit more abstract and leaves more to interpretation than what I usually do. And all of these shapes are going to be filled. In this step, all you have to do is try to figure out how you can trace this image because the sketching is probably one of the more important ones just because that's where you're going to create your idea and you're going to express it for the first time. A lot of people don't wanna do sketching, especially if you're a beginner, you feel like that's just too hard, but that's where you're going to get your best ideas is through trying to sketch things out and try to get better at that. Just to get a sense of it, I'm going to hold down shift and select all of these shapes. And once you have all of them selected, you can actually go over here on the left hand side and switch this up. Make sure that the stroke has none on it. And now you can get a sense of how these shapes are going to look like. Next step is to do the hair. I'm going to start from over here. And as you can see, everything is rounded off. I'm not doing any straight uh, path. What I want to do is have everything uh, pretty curvy. So that's why I'm going to actually create shapes that, that don't have sharp corners anywhere. So I'm going to do that. The nice part about having the sketch on top is the fact that you can still see, even though you're creating these shapes, you can still see uh, the guiding ones. If you don't want to sketch and you just want to follow along, you can download the sketch for free. The link is in the description of this video and then you can download it and actually place it inside Illustrator and try your own version of this illustration. For this piece of hair, I'm actually going to send it behind all of these face shapes. So I'm going to hold down command left bracket to actually send it back and it's going to get masked by the neck. Then I can do this shape, which is actually behind the shoulder of the character. I wanted to do something different with the hair because usually the way I have it is 
uh, I have the same thing on the other side as well but in this case I just because I had the hand I wanted to have it behind everything the necklace is gonna be fairly similar in the sense that it's going to be a stroke shape I'm going to do that the same for the medallion over here and then create a shape that's inside it and we can do the main shape which is the body then the hands are gonna look like they're floating a bit but you're going to see how it looks once I uh, get closer to it this part doesn't matter because you have these elements that are gonna be on top and then you only have to worry about these parts now the good part is that I can actually make adjustments as I create this shape instead of rely just on the sketch I closed it off send it behind everything not behind everything <laughs> and then I can work on the hands I'm going to start with over here it's gonna be very hard to create the fingers just because I don't want them to be pointy <laughs> like too much uh, because usually I would do them like this and I don't like this shape so I usually try to create the pads from the sides and then create more of a rounded look let's do the same for this one and then close it off now remember what I said about not having uh, straight pads I'm going to hold down shift to select all these three and make them a bit rounder the nails can be as big as you want them to be I'm going to create them like this in the sketch they were a bit smaller but I feel like this would look a bit better same for this part of the hand which is holding down the stick or whatever you want to call it I'm going to close these off just to create the knuckles and then this would get masked having all of this variety in the stroke makes it look like it's been hand drawn instead of having one line that looks similar to everything else i'm gonna do a stroke over here as well now that i got started with this i want to get it over with so in this second step i'm just trying to lay the foundation for the shapes that make the illustration in this case the composition is made out of the character and then the bow this will be the opening of the bow and it's going to probably have a different color than what the bow is made out of we can send this back just because it's going to be below the hand and then we can add some details for example all, all of these i was thinking about just making them as leaves or just having them look like spices you can go on top of the bowl just because we're going to actually make adjustments and cut them up once these shapes are defined these would be seeds or spices or just elements that uh, you can use so let's make this look more like a seed by having a pointy end we still need to work on this element which is the thing that you crush the spices with and the last elements that i need to define are actually these background elements i'm going to create them like this these would be just accent colors that will make the illustration just because i was thinking about incorporating maybe some flowers but i'm not really sure i think like we do need some elements to counterbalance the illustration okay select all of these by holding down shift and then just sending them backwards to the very end and now we're going to have all of the elements ready here to be colored and now we have the final step which is the most fun for me is to actually add some colors to it what i usually do is create a bunch of shapes and then i try to adjust the colors uh, for example this would be the black and then hold down option to create a copy and now we're going to create kind of like a reddish orange Let's place it over here, see what looks good. Kind of saturated, but it's fine. Then we're going to make a copy and the secondary color is going to probably be green just because it looks well with it, but it's going to be a dark green, something that works with the scene. And then for the accent color, maybe I'm thinking for the bowl or maybe inside the bowl, something like a purple, but very light, something like this. Now we can disable the sketch and we can do that here and this is what we're left off with i'm going to create a background image it's going to be like right here it's probably going to be orange these ones are probably going to be uh, the accent color and then we can start working on the hair so select all of the elements that have the hair you should see just one color and then we're going to actually sample with eyedropper tool this color the skin is actually going to be the same as the background now it's gonna be tough with this one just because we're going to blend in with it but we're going to figure it out 
For the lips, they need to be red. I'm not sure if having just something more like this would work, but looks pretty good. We'll need to differentiate here the, the ear. So what I'm thinking is to actually select this and actually make it lighter. Let's go over here just to have that separation uh, so we don't rely on it too much. We also need the separation on the chin over here. So I'm going to select this just to get the color. And then from over here, I'm going to try to follow the shape of the chin a bit and just create a stroked outline, just like the other elements that we have in this composition. Then for the body, the body is going to be green just because it's going to look pretty nice with all of this contrast. We need to give the color for the hands. These elements are going to be stroked outline. So using the eye dropper tool, select that. Maybe the handle is going to be the same color. And now we get to the interesting part, which is uh, actually having the bow. So let's make the bow like this. And then maybe we can have white for the inside and these would be just green elements, I'm guessing. Just because initially I was thinking of them just being as leaves and then these elements would be seeds that stand out. But we need to make sure that they're behind the fingers. For the fingernails, we're actually going to use the same red as the lips. And let's zoom in just to figure out what we can do here. So this is going to be the inside of the bowl and we need to mask everything to be inside it. All of these elements are going on top of it. So make sure to have it selected, the inside, and then hold down shift and select the element that's outside of it. And then hitting shift M for the shape builder tool. It's right over here if you can find it. And holding down alt, you can remove pieces of elements. So going to do the same thing, shift M, get rid of this one. In doing so, you can contain particular elements in one shape. We'll need to send the fingers and the fingernails above absolutely everything. And then this element can be just white. And of course, we can use the shape builder tool to actually get rid of this element as well. And maybe just move it a bit below. Use the arrow keys just to make sure that it's in the right place. So with this illustration, you can have it like this, or maybe you can play with the colors. Let's see how this would look like if we invert them a bit. This gives way more contrast. So instead of the bow, I'm going to make the inside. I feel like this is close to what I was imagining when I first designed this illustration. It does look a bit tidier than what I expected. I wanted it to have a more hand-drawn look, but if you want to do that, the way to do it is just to exaggerate something. So for example, for the necklace, this is pretty straight. What you can do is actually delete it and create something like a shape that doesn't look that regular, right? And this way you can have a more hand-drawn look to it and make it look more unfinished. The last elements that I would like to add maybe are uh, over here in between the fingers. Let's sample this color and you can copy and paste it if you don't want to do it over again and just move things around until you find something that you think that looks right. I'm working on developing a course on how to design illustrations inside Adobe Illustrator. So if you want to join the waitlist and be the first to know about it, make sure to check the link in the description and sign up to the waitlist. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye.